Hi there. I have another poem. It's called Spiral Bound. She starts an act of interruption, feels a tug inside a lung where the word finish has stuck inside pockets eager to claim anything of value. She's a spiral bound person, flipping through catalogs of potential. What she wants, she denies. She inflicts her abandonment philosophy before she can begin. A game of avoidance, a dance of preservation. She wallows in dreams she has no intentions of pursuing. She quotes quotes about the journey as she slinks away from closure like a fox dodging hounds. She wields her weapon of choice, the procrastination broom, which sweeps the hairballs and dust from one room to the next just to prove something moved. Because she moves, at least she moves. So this poem actually comes from the phrase, she's a spiral bound person. Sometimes uh, I'll be doing something or just riding in the car and my mind as, I don't know, just wanders and I, I'll think up phrases for some reason. And I saw this woman who was uh, n normal, like casual everyday attire, but completely uh, wound up tight, like just had to get here, had to get there, moving around like she was really intense about it too. So I, just, I don't know, she just reminded me of something wound tight. And that's where the phrase, she's a spiral bound person came from. But when I wrote the poem, it kind of came out differently. It, it probably reflects who I am more because I'm a dreamer. And all the things I dream about don't, don't really get done. So, you know, I, I can't possibly do all of the things I dream about. So, but you know, I'm okay with that. <laughs> Bye.